What is poppin' squad? It's your boy Jasami and today we got a quick video for you guys. A lot of people have been asking me what to do since the global event is offline. A lot of people want Predator and Nomad and Banshee, but you can't get it right now. Um, hopefully this weekend they'll drop the global event. But in the meantime, what should you be doing and what should you not be doing? So before I even get started, just like I told everybody on stream, you see this beautiful little station right here? The optimization station. Yeah, that nice little station that makes you OP. Stay away from it until the global events. Stay away from it until you get either Predator or Nomad or Banshee or any of the new global event gear sets. Do not waste it on what you have right now. A lot of people are going to try to min-max their uh, Barrett's chest and their Hexo builds. Don't do it unless you are extremely in love with Lone Star, Final Measure, Striker, or Reclaimer. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's a waste. I know a lot of people want, you know, they want to be as strong as possible going into Last Stand and going into Skirmish and going into the DZ and fighting NPCs. Everybody wants that mid-max feel to see that max armor and stuff. It's not worth it. As you can see, 250,000 credits per roll and 50 division tech. It's not worth it until you get a build that you are going to focus on and that's going to carry you throughout the rest of 1.8. So a lot of people are enticed because they got a lot. They said, I have it anyways, you know what I'm saying? And I feel you. It's okay. It's okay. If you have it, I mean, that's good. Keep it. Save it. Wait until you get uh, the next set of gear sets that's going to come with the global events. A good way to get Division Tech a lot of people aren't even doing is instead of going on Div Tech runs, you can just get your high-end materials. Let me see if I have some. I have some work right here. If you deconstruct them instead of selling them, you actually have a chance at getting Division Tech. So let's see what, what happened. So you see right here, I just got six Division Tech. So it's possible to get Division Tech without even having to do Div Tech runs. I feel this could potentially be faster, and it's probably more optimal than running the Division Tech runs, only because you don't know for sure if the Division Tech's going to be there, and I don't know uh, how much you can actually get from doing the runs. But if you run Last Stand or run Skirmish or run Mission and just keep deconstructing every piece of high-end uh, material you get, you will get a lot of division tech and you have a chance at getting the new exotics and i know everybody's trying to hunt for the house right now so that's going to be really good but before anybody asks my toughness is so high because i'm in tier one uh, i wanted to troll you guys i know you guys are gonna ask but uh yeah so that's why i'm at 1.1 million toughness but yeah so the best way i think to get division tech is going to be running last stand running skirmish running survivor running whatever's fun to you uh just to get a lot of guns and a lot of yellow items to deconstruct to get this div tech instead of doing the same old same old boring div tech runs I think this is the most optimal way so that you can get maxed out for your optimization station and you'll be able to uh, get a lot of caches that give you Phoenix credits and that give you a chance of getting um, the house or whatnot. So that's how I feel when it comes to division tech. So what would I would be doing exactly is like I said, you want to hit up this place. You want to hit up last stand and skirmish right here. If you haven't been there, you want to hit up survival. You want to hit up underground or you want to run around and do missions that get you gold items because the hardest thing to get is division tech. The, the, the credits isn't the biggest part of it. You know what I'm saying? You can get credits easily. You can just sell stuff real fast, and it's really, really, really good payout. Um, just with, like, if you play Last Stand, like, three or four times, just with selling all of that, you'll break over a million. So it's it's kind of good on that regard when it comes to credits, but I wouldn't even focus on that right now. I'll focus on getting your Division Tech to at least 5,000. You can see mine is low because I did not grind it at all, but I'm going I'm to show you guys and update you guys as I go and how fast I get to 5,000 trying my method which is just breaking down the material. So there are a lot of ways to get materials now um, for Division Tech. A lot of people are saying that you can get it through HVTs and stuff. Um, I haven't really seen it, but some people say like there's like it's a reward or whatnot. Um, they did say that they're going to add Division Tech through a lot of stuff, so I, I believe it, you know what I'm saying? But I think the best way is to just deconstruct everything you have. If you have a lot of high ends you want to use, just deconstruct them. Save that Div Tech and do not touch the optimization station. One thing I'll be trying to get is try to get your, your builds up to stamina, you know what I'm saying? Try to get them to the point of which uh, you're going to be tanky. Um, I've showcased that in plenty of videos already. Uh, prior to the release of 1.8 and I actually did it just yesterday showing how strong tankiness can be a lot of people are are, are stressed out over the idea of it's um, being tanky but you know I feel you guys I get it it is it is an adjustment but for the most part it is going to be to your best advantage if you do try to get upwards to 9,000 stamina so try to get your build try to get whatever variance like let's say you want to make a hexo build I'll, I'll go to my hexo build right now that's unoptimized and it, let's say you want to run a hexo build try to make it so that you're going to get toughness so try to find pieces that you can roll to toughness and have your god rolls a lot of people you know they use their rolls to get firearms like mine you can see right here 
uh, you got to be lucky to have crit chance and stamina. If unless you save some extra items, a lot of people deleted all their stuff. There's some. There's just a lot of things you guys can be focusing on other than just going straight to your optimization and spending all your resources on temporary builds that are going to be obsolete when the next ones come out. So, yeah, that's pretty much what you should be doing. Um, the best way to get the house. A lot of people are asking me. I think if I'm not mistaken, the only way I see you getting the house. Um, just off of the, uh, just off of pure luck without actually having to just hope that it gets a random drop is try to do the legendary missions or try to do the incursions because you get, um, you can get an exotic cash. A lot of people are already trying to, trying to find their way through Times Square and, um, to just to try to get an exotic cash with their friends and hopefully so somebody gets it. You know what I'm saying? There's not many legendary missions, so you don't have that much options besides incursions and, uh, either Times Square or, uh. I forgot the other one. I think it's Napalm. So if you guys want to get the house, that is possibly the only way I know of. Um, people are asking me if there's any. It's, it's not like Bear's Chest where you can get it from a Lexington or it's, it's not like the Pharaoh's Mask where you can get it from uh, Joe Pharaoh or anything. It's not like that. It's not that kind of weapon. You can't buy it anywhere as far as I know. Um, I've already checked all the vendors um, unless I missed it. I mean... Shoot, I must have missed it somewhere because everybody has it already and I ain't got it. But um, as of right now, they are not selling it at either of the vendors. They're not selling it at the Advance and they're not selling it here, which is in good favor because I would rather it be something to, to grind for because it's actually a really, really good weapon and people are gonna <laughs> people are going to go nuts when they get their hands on it. So if you got the house, GG. I'm jealous. Your boy is really jealous of you because I don't got it. But as of right now, it is very hard to attain because of how low the drop chance is on exotics i don't know if people are are just saying that or if anything really changed i didn't see anything change with the exotics i did not see anything too crazy um that resulted in the fact that we can't get it it's going to be harder now i just know that the house is extremely powerful and um it's something that's worth grinding for and i think the best way to do it is to try to hit up all these incursions try to hit up something that's going to be able to get you an exotic cash which is obviously your best chance at it especially if you have a group of team uh, or a team that's full uh, somebody, let's say you have a team that all have houses and you guys all get exotic caches, that's four times the chance. So try to get in a group with somebody who has it and, uh, who's willing to help you. And that's possibly the best, most optimal way to get it. That does not guarantee it. Um, I don't think <laughs> that even with my luck that that will happen for me, but I mean, that's a better chance than just trying to hope, hopefully find it in a DZ. Like some people have claimed to find it or trying to find it in the open world. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to let you guys know what you should be doing, what to focus on um how to roll things you want to have everything towards stamina uh like this build actually right here for, for those who've seen it um i basically have everything towards stamina that's how you want to build this meta this is how you want to go about it it works with npcs because you're able to be completely safe and do a lot of the content super super easy because of this um you can get really really fast amount of credits from doing clear sky kind of by cheesing the fact that you have so much stamina now so it's it's kind of like hilarious when you try to do the clear sky now it's pretty easy and uh, I, th I think I think it's we're at a good place, you know what I'm saying? I think for the most part, most people are just more upset to the fact that um, they don't have direct access to what they want, um, which right is as of right now, we thought when the game came out, we were going to have the global events immediately and be able to hop right into our builds and optimize it. But this little window is kind of dangerous for people because they're starting to spend their resources um, on a whim just because they want to be the first to do it, you know what I'm saying? And um, I think that that's not the smart thing to do. I think if you, if you want to do something the right way, save up, be patient. Patience is a virtue. You will thank me later once you get that uh, Predator's Mark build or that Banshee build or that Nomad build and you get to mid-max that and, and compete with those who, who actually listen to me and save. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the patch. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been seeing a lot of negativity. Uh, give the patch some time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's too soon to judge it. Uh, people have their opinions and that's cool, but for the most part, you know, keep a positive mind, enjoy the content as it is. Underground's actually really fun. If you haven't tried it, go try it out, you know what I'm saying? But as of right now, you should be grinding for Division Tech if you don't have it. Get that 5,000 cap, get that credit cap, because you want to be able to optimize all of your builds. So, much love. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys, man. Uh, I, hopefully this video answered a lot of questions. I'm trying to think off the top of my head how many questions people have asked me. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to know how to get the... 
the shady mask people are still asking right here if you go to appearance go to collections go to exotic gear collection and if you have all of the old exotics which is ninja bike barrett's pharaoh skulls short bows Colin Bliss holster, you will get the shady mask, which is the one with the little eyes and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Leave me a like. Let me know if you guys have any questions below. I'll make another update video on what you should be doing um, and whatever I come across, whatever information I come across to help you guys grind and help you get as optimal as possible. So, much love. Thank you guys for watching. Your boy is out.